chapter 5, subtopic 5.3, vector product. After this lesson, students should be able to use the properties of vector product angle. If theta is the angle between vector A and B, then A cross B is defined as magnitude A multiplied with magnitude B sine theta U cap, where U cap is defined as a unit vector in a direction of vector A and vector B. And it is defined by unit vectors A cross B divided by magnitude of A cross B. How to find the direction of A cross B? So determine the direction of A cross B. So use the right hand rule where the finger turn from A to B, from A to B, and the thumb point in the direction of A cross B. So this is the illustration for our above. So we have vector A here and this is vector B. So there is angle between vector A and B. By cross these two vectors then we have A cross B. This A cross B is actually perpendicular to vector A and also perpendicular to vector B. Okay, then, from the first example before, example 1, we need to prove that A cross B is perpendicular to vector A. So, how we want to show A cross B is perpendicular to vector A? The angle between A and cross B is perpendicular, means that the angle is 90 yeah, with vector A. So, using the dot product, we know that the two vectors are perpendicular if A dot B equal to 0. So, for this case, we need to prove that A cross B dot with vector A, it's supposed to give the answer is 0. So, before this, we already find A cross B, which is 5i minus j minus 4k. So, write down our vector in column metric, which is 5 negative 1, negative 4, dot with matrix A. So, the coefficient for matrix A is 1, 1, 1. And then, do the dot product, which is 5 times 1, plus negative 1 times 1, plus negative 4 times 1. So, 5 times 1, plus negative 1 times 1, negative 4 times 1. So, the answer is equal to 0. So, therefore, the conclusion is A cross B is perpendicular with or to vector A. The properties of vector product. So, if we have vector A, B, C and M is a scalar, then this is the first properties which is A cross A equal to 0, A cross B equal to negative of B cross A, 
determinant of A cross B is equal to magnitude. The magnitude of A cross B is equal to uh, the magnitude of B cross A. Number 4, A cross B plus minus C is equal to A cross B plus minus A cross C. Number 5, we have M times A cross B is actually equal to M times vector A cross B or A times M B and so on. So we have here, it is 8 properties of our 8 and 9. Okay, 8 and 9. So we have all together nine properties of determinant. Okay. We have all together nine properties of vector product. So the last uh, properties is finding the angle by using cross product. So the angle for uh, the angle between vector A and B is given by sine magnitude of A cross B divided by magnitude A magnitude B. The angle between the two vectors can be defined as sine magnitude of A cross B multiplied theta is sine A cross B divided by magnitude A magnitude B. Example 2. Given vector U equal to A i minus 2j plus 5k and vector b equal to negative 4i plus j plus alpha k. By using vector product, determine the value of alpha. So we need to find alpha when u is parallel to v. So now, properties number 8. The two vectors are parallel if u cross b is equal to zero vector. So now what is u cross v? Find the q cross v by using determinant is equal to zero vector. So the first uh, vector is 8, negative 2, 5. The second vector is negative 4, 1, alpha. So, by finding the determinant, so we have delete the first row and the first column. So, we have negative 2, alpha, minus 5, Minus with the J, delete the first row and the second column. It alpha minus minus plus 20 plus J. Plus K. Delete the first row, the third column. 8 minus 8 equal to 0 vector. So this is equal to negative 2 alpha minus 5i minus 8 alpha plus 20j plus 0k equal to 0 vector. 
comparing for the component J. So this is component J or component I. Okay, either one, choose either one. Let's say by choosing the component I, so we have negative 2 alpha minus 5 is equal to 0. Therefore, alpha equal to negative 5 over 2. Okay, this is alpha when u and v are parallel. Please do this exercise and submit to your lecturer.